My heart will never be the same, but that new project is a film called Lords of Chaos, and it's part thriller, part music biopic, and part true crime drama. And although he's just acting, my friend Rory takes things to a whole other level to embrace this very dark tale. Take a look. Either you do it for the cause, and you take action, or you do it because you want attention. You can't have it both ways. I'm actually shocked that I'm speaking to you right now because I said I'm never speaking to Rory again. I understand. You understand? Yeah, totally. You know why? I get it, yeah. Scarred for life. Her. I'm very sorry. But is actor Rory Culkin truly sorry? Truth is, we can't really blame him for bringing the story to life. Life was easy back then. It was all about having fun, drinking beer, and playing hard and loud music. Lords of Chaos is a true crime story about a band called Mayhem. They were a Norwegian black metal band in the late 80s, early 90s that would have all of these crazy publicity stunts like, like they would burn down churches and, and things like that and um, they would encourage their fans to do similar things and it just spiraled out of control and led to a, a brutal murder. Preparation for the film literally took him to a dark place. The director provided me with a coffin uh, right off of set to take little naps and uh, yeah, it was really... And you leave it open or closed? Uh, well, when I, I leave it open when I'm not there, and then I crawl in and close it, and they would knock on it to, you know, what we're ready to shoot. The... <laughs> it's trying to get in the headspace, man. And to go deeper into that headspace, he watched documentaries, read police reports, and talked to people who actually knew the musician. Why do you care about him so much? I thought you were true Norwegian black metal. I invented it. And now you betray it. With your character, the way they portrayed him, I think it makes him so relatable. It was important to me to, to humanize Euronymous um, because these guys are, are metal legends and people really like lionize them and, and look up to them and it was important for me to make, you know, remind everyone that he was a kid. Along with plenty of makeup, Rory's long locks definitely helped him pull off the black metal band look. It's been a while since I cut it too really? long. It's becoming barbaric. And I just feel like you're just showing off. Like you're like, I have long, lustrous hair. <laughs> Drink and it Team in. Pro V call me. <laughs> me? I'm just saying. No? No. Nah. If you ever cut your hair, Rory, I am taking that. I promise I will send it to you. Really? Yeah. Oh. I said, I, I want to do a, instead of a ponytail, it's going to be a Rory tail. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have my afro and then a Rory tail dangling. You're going to have pigtails, too. <laughs> I know. The <laughs> so Lords of Chaos is currently playing in theaters in New York and opens nationwide this Thursday. February 14th. Sounds hey. like a perfect film to see on Valentine's Day. I, I know, Day. so the girl can jump on you and be like, oh, I'm so scared. Right.